Another major development in the story the ABC 15 investigators were the first to report and have followed for months. We first told you about Scott Keeling in February after the attorney general alleged he used a fake diploma and posed as a psychologist. Keeling pleaded guilty to criminal charges earlier this year, but as investigator Ann Ryman has learned, he's facing more charges and obtained a copy of the latest indictment that accusing, uh, accuses Keeling of an illegal scheme to defraud the state's Medicaid system. We all called this man Dr. Scott. We all believe this man to be who he said he was. Megan Rohrbacher, one of several former employees who thought this man, Scott Keeling, was a licensed psychologist. He drove a car with vanity plates that said Dr. Psych, and his business card said he was a doctor and a psychologist. Keeling pleading guilty to fraudulent schemes and drug paraphernalia earlier this year, sentenced to 90 days in jail. Have you gone over the plea with your lawyer and has he answered all your questions? Yes, ma'am. The attorney general now says Keeling was involved in the operation of this substance abuse treatment center in Phoenix from January through August of last year. Scott, so you are here on what we call a grand jury warrant. Um, that grand jury warrant basically means that the grand jury has already found probable cause for some offenses against you. This week, Keeling indicted on five additional felony charges, illegal control of an enterprise, fraudulent schemes, and theft. His next court date set for May 7th. Keeling is currently in a Maricopa County jail. His bail set at $500,000. We've reached out to his attorney for comment. We'll keep asking questions, including pressing for more details on the alleged scheme the AG says Keeling was involved in. I'm investigator Ann Ryman, ABC 15, Arizona. Ann is teaming up with ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscopine to tackle the alarming number of imposter cases as they dive deeper into how health boards handle them and pressing state leaders for more solutions. They want to hear from you. If you've encountered an imposter health professional, please reach out. Email investigators at abc15.com.